this farm doesn't look anything like it looked like in 1993. We're in the middle of an experiment that we that had the goal of trying to figure out how to grow Terminalia amazonia, a really valuable native tree, better. And so we had a lot of different treatments with Terminalia as the focal tree. Um, and we had another treatment where we didn't plant anything. We call this natural regeneration. So what happens in these degraded lands if you just don't do anything? You just kick the cows off. So we fenced the cows off in 1993. We're in 2005 now. So this is the kind of growth you get if you don't, if the word is intervention. If humans don't intervene to help jumpstart succession and make it go faster, this is basically what happens. It looks green, but it's extremely poor soil, and there are some indicators of that. So these are the pasture grasses from the original uh, pasture before I actually, before we actually fenced the cattle off. But one of the indications of how poor the soil is here is is ferns. Uh, almost any species of fern indicates that um, you have some pretty difficult soil conditions to work with. Okay. Now we've reached uh, an example of the treatment with Inga, the legume tree Inga edulis, mixed in with our target tree, our focal tree, uh, Terminalia amazonia. Uh, and you can see the difference <laughs> both between natural generation and what happens if humans do intervene. Um, we're in 2005. This experiment started in 1993, so we're seeing 12 years of growth. We planted these seedlings out about five inches tall in 1993, and some of these trees are 40 feet tall now. So it kind of indicates what can happen uh, in the hothouse of the, of the whole field in the tropics. So what you see here is these trees, these big trees that are nice and tall and straight, okay? Those are our target trees, Terminalia amazonia. We've already had to thin them once because they've grown so fast. Um, and this is an example of the Inga itself, okay? The Inga is the only legume that we've ever tried. We've probably tried about eight or nine species now of legume trees that has been able to grow rapidly and well with almost 100% survival um, in our degraded soils. And so we planted them at the same time as we planted the Terminalia in 1993. Um, and it took them a while to get going. And then somewhere toward the end of the third year of growth, they just skyrocketed and they grew really fast and they over, they created too much shade for the Terminalia seedlings and so we pruned them. My ideas in the beginning were to restore trees, restore forest, restore biodiversity. I had studied hummingbirds and the flowers that they pollinate and the behavior of, the, especially the aggressive behavior of hummingbirds um, for 15 years. But as I began to become aware of the socio-political economic situation in the country, began, I, my goals changed so that I felt that a more useful um, goal would be to restore soil fertility using trees to do that um, in a way that the land that had already been cleared could become productive again. Hi, hi. Yes. Beautiful. Oh man. Oh, <laughs> how pretty that is. Oh my word. Kind 
Waiting for the birds. <laughs> nice and easy. Nice Monday. I felt like my research on nectar feeding birds and their flower resources was, was esoteric and not directly applicable to any of the practical environmental problems that our species is facing today. And so I was just beginning to get dissatisfied, even though I loved my work and I, got, I was very fortunate in being able to study a beautiful system I felt that these natural systems weren't going to be around much longer, and, and what was my role? I felt so privileged, and I just felt it was time for me to do something that was more relevant to solutions of problems. So that's why I chose the project about uh, looking at forest fragmentation and what effect it might have on pollination. My goals changed from being pretty pure ecology, biodiversity, save the world, <laughs> save species, to improving the economic situation of the local people so that the species that remain in undeveloped patches could be safe.